Um, let's get into, if you want to just give me a second, I'm gonna open up Breezy's platform here and I will go through a quick demo as well. I'll show you how to download the extension um, and then we'll get into our Q&A section. So um, Liv, I'll use, me as my, use you as my eyes. Can you see my screen and I'm on Google? Yeah, you're, you're great. Perfect. Awesome. So um, we are, uh, you can download this on a few different platforms. I am a Chrome girl, so I always <laughs> demo it on Chrome as well. But what you're going to do is go to the Chrome web store and you're going to type in verify first. And it's going to be the first uh, thing that comes up. You're going to click on it and then you'll see in this top right corner, mine says remove from Chrome because I do already have it installed. But it'll say add to Chrome and then it's going to pop up here under, under this puzzle piece as well. So you have the option to pin it so that it's always there in the corner. You can open it at any given time on any browser window, not just within Breezy. Um, and once you add it to your Chrome, you'll click on it and it's one more click to allow user permissions and you are set. Once you log into Breezy, you will see the button within the candidate's profile, which takes me over to Breezy. Uh, here I am in my dashboard. I'll go to view my candidates. I just made a new one and just a disclaimer, this is our testing environment. So none of this data is uh, for real people. Hank is our testing guy. Um, he's not real, unfortunately, as much as we would like him to be. Um, here we are in Hank's profile and you'll see the screen with verified first button and you're gonna go ahead and place new order. And you'll see it pop up here uh, kind of in a little quarter screen. So you're still in Hank's profile, you're still within Breezy, but now our integration pops up. Um, your account name will be here. We have the ability to customize your screening packages based on positions. So whether it's different departments, if one department, let's say, is uh, driving a company vehicle, you'll want to run you know, a motor vehicle report on them, but you won't necessarily need to run it on someone else. So you can customize your packages based on position or your own specific packages to your organization, whether it's um, new hire uh, onboarding package, et cetera. Uh, you can also create those packages as well. Additionally, if you choose, you can also um, order a la carte as well. So we have you know, over a hundred different screens that we have the capability of running. Um, you'll see them here all on the left-hand side in this pop-out. Um, I'm going to click a uh, drug panel so I can show you our function within the integration, um, but you can also just order as is uh, for your uh, organization's needs. Go ahead and close that. And then another function you will see is all of the data that's in the candidate's profile will transfer over to the ordering portal. This pink mess that I created, I did not give him a middle name, that's why it didn't pop over, that was on me. Um, but you'll see the email, phone number, and state of employment uh, all scrapes over from Hank's profile. From here, you have two options. If you, the most common option is to send the invite then from this point on to the candidate. So I'm gonna click send invite. From here, you're gonna get a pop-up if you have ordered background screens, uh, a screen on the candidate within the last 90 days. This is just kind of a checks and balancing to make sure you know multiple people within your hiring team aren't uh, running screens on a person over and over again, uh, saving you not only time, but also money for your organization. Make sure you're not duplicating any screening processes. So I'm just going to acknowledge that I've screened on him in the last 90 days. Um, and then you can choose to either auto order or manually order your uh, screening package once the candidate completes their portion. Um, so I'm going to auto. And then I chose a, a drug test. So that's why it's asking me for uh, the reason and I'm going to choose pre-employment. From here you have the option to either email or text the candidate the link to complete their portion of the background screen. Um, you don't have to do both, you can do one or the other. Um, whatever information is in the candidate's profile will auto-populate in these fields right here. And then you also have the option to include the list of ordered products to the candidate as well if you would like to inform them of exactly what screens you're running on them. And then from here you would send the invitation. This is gonna send a link to the candidate to complete their portion. So to um, fill out their PII, so their social, their date of birth, their 
uh, address to choose the location where they want to go uh, complete their drug screen if you are you know, conducting a drug test on them. Um, when it comes to their email, they'll be able to open up on their browser. All of their electronic uh, authorization forms will be there as well. They'll be able to sign electronically. When it's sent via text, the link that they'll click on that, it is mobile friendly. So they won't be you know, having to zoom out to, to view and, and read what they're supposed to be filling out or signing with their finger. Um, it will be mobile friendly as well. Um, and then as we indicated earlier, once they complete their portion, uh, you can choose to either auto order, it'll automatically kick off those, those screens, or you'll get notified via email that they've completed it. And then you can go into their profile and complete the order of the background screen. Um, here as well, I'll just show you real quick uh, within a couple minutes of what it would look like if you had all the information. So I will enter in a fake social, at least I hope this is a fake social. I don't think anyone has this, but uh, you never know. Date of birth. And then I'll enter in a zip code for Hank as well. So let's say he lives in Houston and that's where we want to look for testing sites for his drug test. Oops, I need a address for him. I didn't put one in his profile, so that's why it didn't populate over. Um, okay, let's try this. Sorry. Okay. Cool. This is uh, this is not not a real test, so I don't think it matters if the county was correct. But again, you'll see these uh, this indication that we've ordered screens on him in the last 90 days, um, and you'll be able to view all the reports that have been conducted. So as you can see, we test on Hank a lot. It's just another uh, checks and balance to make sure you're not running duplicate screens. Um, and here's where you can order the uh, drug panel test uh, within the uh, screening portal as well. So you can choose a certain radius zip code of residency or where the candidate is located, and then you have the option to find collection sites, and it's gonna show you the hours of operations, how far it is, um, and you can indicate where you would like, or either whether the candidate would like to go get tested or if your organization has a specific location that you'd like them to go to, you can indicate that as well. And then you can also indicate an expiration date and time, so whether you know, your organization gives a candidate 48 hours to go or five days or a week, you can indicate that as well. Um, and go to the next and you'll have a quick review. And then if you've collected authorization forms uh, prior, this is where you're able to upload any files. So any copies of identifications, authorizations to run background checks. So, and then you can submit the order. So this is a bit more, uh, a detailed process, but the most commonly used function is to just send the invite to the candidate. They complete everything on their end. It automatically kicks it back and initiates the background screen. So once I submit the order, you will see that this uh, button where we press to start the order now says file processing. Um, and then it's going to say report pending when our team is working on it. And then once all of the results come back from the screens that you ordered, it's going to say report completed you'll be able to hover over it and view this drop down and view the report right there, uh, right in the same way in which you ordered the screen. And there's a, uh, once it loads, there's a drop down to view it and or download it and print it as a PDF. So you'll be able to see if any adverse actions come through it, what the report pulled, all the data. Um, and then you can also tailor, you know, who within the portal has user permissions to view this information as well. Um, and that's, it's that's it's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, there's a few options, you know, just depending on what your hiring process looks like, whether uh, you have all the information and you want to initiate it all, or you know, you leave it up to the candidate. That's really can be tailored uh, to your, your specific hiring process. And the best part about it is you never have to leave Breezy's platform. You can do it all within the platform, and it all comes back to you. Uh, you're not opening up new windows or new new websites um let me see here as i get back to the presentation deck if you have any questions that have come up came up from while we were uh chatting and while i was going through the demo please feel free to put them in the question function i'm getting my screen set up to our contact page and there we are 